name is Jack Hassett from the Limerick Institute of Technology and today we're going to talk about lenses. So, what do we know? Light is a form of energy. Light travels in rays. Light travels in straight lines. Think of shadows as the absence of light. Light only travels in straight lines when it travels through the same substance. For example, through air, through glass, or through water. Try this. Put a straw or pencil in a jam pot or glass half filled with water and let it go. Look at the straw or pencil from various angles. What do you notice? However, if light travels through a different substance, for example, air to glass or water to air, it will bend. This bending is called refraction. This bending occurs because the light travels at different speeds in different substances. What is a lens? A lens is a specifically shaped piece of plastic or glass that bends light as it passes through it. The eyes have a naturally occurring piece called a lens. Lens is a plural singular word. The plural is lenses. There is one important difference between lenses and a mirror. Light does not pass through a mirror. Lenses occur in lots of different instruments. For example, binoculars, microscopes, spectacles, and telescopes. A lens is a transparent object which is bounded by two optical planes so that the thickness of its middle and edge are different. Lenses can occur in two different forms, namely a convex and a concave lens. Convex lens can also be called converging lenses. A convex lens causes rays of light to converge, which means come together at a single point. Light rays passing from an object through a convex lens produce a small focused image. Ask your teacher for a convex lens. Hold the lens close to some print. What do you see? Now look at your friend's eye. What do you notice? Now hold the convex lens further away from you at arm's length and look at something in the distance. Concave lenses are also called diverging lenses. Concave lenses cause rays of light to diverge, which means to spread apart as they pass through the lens. Light rays passing from an object through a concave lens form a large magnified image. Ask your teacher for a concave lens. Hold the lens in front of some print. What do you see? Now hold the concave lens further away from you and look at something in the distance. What do you see this time? Each of our eyes contains a convex lens which focuses the light coming into it onto the layer of sensory nerves at the back of the eye, called the retina. The retina sends these messages to the brain via the optic nerve. The brain converts these messages into images, and this is how we see. Short-sighted people wear spectacles which have lenses that are thinner in the middle, i.e. concave. Long-sighted people wear convex lenses. In conclusion, convex lenses cause light rays to converge, which means come together at a single point, referred to as the focal point, whereas concave lenses cause light rays to diverge or spread apart. Here is a summary of what we should know at the end of this lesson. Light travels in straight lines. Lenses can change the direction of the light. Refraction is the word to describe how light rays bend or change direction. Convex lenses and concave lenses have different effects on light. Thank you for watching. 
and please check the portal for more resources on lenses.